Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Radical Red Nuzlocke. Uh, we, in the last episode, what did we do? We beat Erica. We did Giovanni as well. We did both in the same episode. And we did the, um, the Marowak. So the next important battle we got is our rival battle, uh, which isn't usually one of the more difficult battles. Um, I, my rival had the Charizard to start, so um, kind of, in my opinion, the easiest team to deal with. Uh, the Venusaur team can be problematic. I believe it has a Darmanitan as well. That Darmanitan is a, is a threat sometimes. Uh, but this team usually doesn't feel too bad. Um, I'll show my team, and you know, what my strategy is against it. Let me switch out of here, actually. Um, okay. Just, can, you, can you just stop getting fully paralyzed? This is literally insane. Literally insane. Okay, can we just can we just get this over with? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that actually reminds me, I need to look at your moveset. Um, I can learn Flash Cannon over Bubble Beam. I think that's going to be the play. Um, but yeah, so right after this battle as well, we have the infamous double battle, which in my opinion, if you make it out of this building, uh, you could almost make it to the Elite Four. So this is going to be a huge, 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 you know, challenge that we're going to be going in right now. So for this battle, I'm going to lead with Gliscor, who has Fluffy as an ability, and he's going to lead with Staraptor, who's going to intimidate. I'm going to U-turn because I'm slower than Staraptor. I don't think Staraptor stays in. If he does, he goes for Brave Bird. It's not going to do much damage. Uh, I'll get a slow U-turn out. If he stays in, I can go into pretty much anybody. I mean, I can go into Moltres. I could go into my uh, Backscalibur to get an Intimidate off on him and just Ice Shard, get the KO. Um, I got a lot of options at that point. But I have the Blissey for the Charizard. It's a special attacker. I got the special wall. That's why Blissey's so good for this. For the Azumarill, I have the Empoleon. Resist everything it can do. Um, I also have Roar on him. Uh, I was going to just Flash Cannon, maybe flip turn out. Because I'm assuming he won't stay in against it. Um, I have the Backscalibers here for the Jump Pluff specifically. I have Plus Defense. I have Intimidate just in case. And Ice Shard from this guaranteed kills. And I'm holding the Chesto Berry in case he sleep, uh, sleep powders on the turn I switch in. Um... But that should be my answer for that. Honestly, it should be fine no matter what. And for the King Gambit, I have Great Tusk, one of the most defense Pokemon in the game. Ultras is also pretty good for it. Um, so we got options. I think this battle is going to be pretty easy. Um, my concern, this battle is really good if you, have if you have Stealth Rocks up. It takes damage on the Jump Bluff and it takes 50% off the Charizard. Um, two, two very good things. But uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so the Raptor lead. You intimidate. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to U-turn out. I could Rock Tomb here. Um, it's honestly not a terrible play. I'm not really too worried about the speed stat right now, though. You stay in and go for Brave Bird. It's fine. That is fine with me. Look at that damage. Doing nothing. Doing nothing. And what I could do here is i could go you know what i'm gonna go into rudy um this guy's kind of here for like a just a backup option i'm gonna will wisp you stay in you brave bird it's gonna hurt but i am a moltres i will tank that pretty well uh, and i get the will wisp off on you which makes you so much less of a threat i kind of wish i oh i think i do have roost on this I do. I'm going to roost. U turns out beautiful. This is the freest roost of all time. The freest roost. You go into Charizard. Um, I'm going to be honest. This Charizard has Flamethrower, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, and Earth Power. You're just going to be clicking Sludge Bomb. Um, I think I just dual wing beat with my Technician. And I just get as much damage off as I can. You're not going to KO me with Sludge Bombs. I'm not going to do that much, probably. 
I mean, you're a Charizard, but... I'm going to set up the Sun. Call the Sludge Bomb, which is fine. You eat that up. And this Technician Boosted Dual Wing Beat is doing some damage. Look at that. Get the Leftovers Recovery. I just go for another one. That's going to make this thing... This thing's out. This thing's done for. Um, so the Raptor's burned, so that's useless. Um, and Azumarill, now the sun is up. The Azumarill, which makes him far less threatening. I still think a huge power liquidation will kill me from the Azumarill, and I don't want to go for the Will-O-Wisp on it. I just think it's unnecessary. Um, I mean, on this, I really, I just literally go into... Yeah, I go into Stonks. It's just the freest, freest answer. Liquidation, it's fine. Doing no damage. You should realize here that you cannot do anything to me. Um, and I hope I don't even know if I'm faster or slower. Um, let me see. What is my speed set? Base 60 speed. I'm level 56. Let me check how fast this Azumarill is. I feel like Azumarill's not fast, but base 50 speed. So I'll definitely be faster than it. Um, If I'm faster... I'm just going to flash get in. I, I assumed he was going to switch. I assumed it, but it's fine. Get the flash cannon off. Um, This should be faster than me. But a knockoff is not going to kill. So I'm going to... Well, I kind of want to roar him out. Kind of want to roar him out. Now nah, I'm going to flip turn. I'm faster. He was jolly nature, so I kind of assumed maybe he was a little faster. No king game is pretty slow, but... Um... Ooh, did I give you a ground move? It's not really worth, honestly. I just go right into King Gambit. I mean, I go into Great Tusk. I go into Great Tusk. It's fine. You're going to knock off or Sword Stance. Go to the Sword Stance. I could not let him get that off of free. So I have to go into this, and I'm just going to Earthquake, and you should be gone. The King Gambit's one of the scariest things on his team. Uh, Sucker Punch can just go crazy. But you got a Great Tusk. It's kind of a free battle. Kind of free. Zoom in Jump Bluff? Yep. Jump Bluff comes in. I have the immediate counter with the back Scalibur. I get the Intimidate off. If he goes for a double edge immediately, it's going to be minus one. It's not going to do too much damage. If he goes for the Sleep Powder, that's fine. If he goes for the Swords Dance, that is fine. I kill you with a Shard. You hard switch out, okay? So I keep my Chesto Bear. You go Azumaro. We got the switching game going on, but I can't make no predictions right now. There's no reason for me to, pred uh, to predict on these because... I have the, you know, the perfect answers for these guys. You're going to go for a play rough. Doing nothing. That actually did more than I thought. <laughs> that did more than I thought. Um, do I flip turn again? Who do I think he would switch into on this one? He could go Staraptor. I'm going to flip turn. He, hearts, he switches. Nice. I had a feeling he might. Goes directly into Jump Bluff. Perfect. This is honestly perfect. Um, do I want to go in? If I, I kind of wish I'd put like more coverage on this guy. Um, but Azumarill just absolutely destroys him. I could go into you. Your defense is crazy, and I can go for a. No, nope, I, I just this is gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna speed up here because he's gonna hard switch into Azumarill. This is going to be a little dance we're going to do. Oh, he stood in this time. Oh, I don't like that. Going to dummy. I don't like that he stood in right there, buddy. Going for liquidation. I intimidated him, so it's not going to do much damage. Did no damage. Uh, play rough should be coming out here. Okay, I'm going to protect. 
Get some recovery. Got a flash cannon. Big damage. Protect. Flash cannon. Okay, Zoomerl's gone. I thought he was going to be switching around a lot more, but I guess he let me... He let me get that one. Jump Fluff is back. And now... I have the win. Because I go into dummy. Rude name, by the way. And we get the Intimidate off. If he goes for Sleep Powder, uh, we have the Chesto Berry. Goes for it. We dodge it. Didn't matter. Made no difference. I just Ice Shard twice because his next Pokemon that he has left is the Staraptor. And I believe an Ice Shard will kill the Staraptor. Oh, I don't know what the Staraptor's HP is at, but it's burned. Yeah, this thing's... Ah, uh, he intimidates me, so I guess I'm not going to get the KO. So I'm going to switch out here. No reason to stay in. He intimidated me. My Ice Shard will not kill. He has close combat. He could get a crit. Not risking it. No reason. That did 4 damage. Okay, go for the Rock Tomb. You're gone. Okay. All right. You give me the Lapras, which is a Dano. Oh, boy. Oh, my Lanta. Let me pull up the nicknames. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, I like the name Jealousy. I don't know why. I feel like a dark type Pokemon. Okay, am I spelling this right? Yes. Jealousy. Why does this look weird? It looks weird on the Pokemon text. Um, okay. Now we have the Team Rocket battle. This infamous, very, very infamous double battle. Um... This is, this is a scary, this is a scary, scary battle here. Um, I was really, I'm going to, I'm really going to depend or not depend. I'm really debating on bringing Bibril. Um, Great Tusk, definitely not. Uh, it's too weak on the special side. Um, let me rare candy up the Bibril. Bibril has fur coat. Which doubles his physical defense. I just unlearned extreme speed. I forgot this thing had that moveset. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Extreme speed would be insanely good on this thing. I forgot this was that Pokemon. He has amnesia. Oh. Oh. Okay. Amnesia. Um, Aqua Jet. I like Aqua Jet over Happy Hour. Thunder Wave. Loki. Pretty good. Um. Yawn, Skull Bash. Uh, Swords Dance, Aqua Jet. I'm gonna, I'm just probably gonna Amnesia. Yawn could be kind of good. Could force some switches. Um. Hmm. I need to go to the PC. So he leads with Gothitelle. And Incineroar, so he's gonna intimidate me immediately. Uh, but I'm not really there to do damage with the Bibril. It's more or less to be a, a you know, a helpful Pokemon to my teammate. I'm gonna make him plus special defense minus speed. I do not need speed. Hmm. I feel like this is kind of crazy. I click Amnesia. I'm just I'm gonna be risking crits and whatnot. But oh, I could give him. You could probably learn Scald, right? Oh, yes. Do I want... I don't want Bolt Tackle. Definitely not. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to change his nature to plus special defense minus attack. Uh, the Aqua Jet could still come in clutch. Thunder Wave Amnesia Scald. I could Thunder Wave... The Incineroar? That can make that side a lot more useless. I'm probably going to Amnesia immediately. Definitely giving you Leftovers. Who would have thought Bibril would be this clutch? 
Okay, so that's water types are just really good for this battle, so that's why I want that. Um I still don't know if I'll take a thunder punch from a Mawile. Mega Mawile is still insane. Um Let me see. Mega Mawile, what level will you be? 55. Level 55. Can I level up here? I don't think so, right? No. Okay. Uh, Mega Mawile level 55. What nature are you? You are adamant. Uh, with Thunder Punch. And his ability is obviously huge power. To a Bibberal. <laughs> level 56. With the ability for coat. Um, it takes half. And he's adamant nature. So I'll outspeed. So I might teach him growl. Or defense curl. Defense curl might be better. If, if I could just. Growl might be better. I mean, it's only good for the Mawile. Literally the only thing it's good for. So I might just be better off just clicking Scald. Um, what is my answer for the Mawile in this case, though? So. Great Tusk. You guys have play rough, obviously. obviously. Um, but Great Tusk is a pretty good switch in for that. It's just not great on the special side. Or like Goldengo and whatnot. Samurott. If I could switch this in on a fire move. Because it has well-baked body. With a Houndoom. This could be a, end up being a good Pokemon. Uh, what's Blastoise got? Snow Warning. Hmm. Hey, what about my boy Sandslash? Hey, this is going to be the weirdest team ever. Blissey might be the actual, might be the last one I bring. Um, no, nah, I think it's Moltres. I think Moltres. I think this is the play. Uh, this is a point, like I said, this is a point in the game where uh, a lot of people lose their, lose their runs here. Um... Multi-scale on this is really good. Spiky shield. Very good. Move relearn. Um, hmm. I don't really want to have Earthquake because my I don't want to hit my teammate. Um hmm. is a little little worrisome rock tomb could be good if i could just like slow something down speed is a huge factor in this um let me move relearn rapid spin over sand tomb and let's make you plus speed minus special attack jolly uh just in case i can get a rapid spin off maybe i can outspeed something and might might save us okay aqua jet thunder wave scald amnesia i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna give him i think you need protect i think in double battles protect is just one of the most important um tms to have protect over Over the Aqua Jet, I think. Priority would be good, but I don't think it's super necessary. Roost, Will O Wisp, Flame Charge. I forgot I had Flame Charge on this thing. Um. Uh, oh, this is scary. Do I need Will O Wisp? If I can Will O Wisp, like, it's literally a while though. And I think if I Flame Charge it, you're gonna be kind of better off. And you have Spiky Shield. Okay, you are plus special defense. You are plus special defense. I might want to make you... Ah, eh, plus special defense is fine. And you are plus speed with multi-scale. 
move sets are good. I have flame charge for the gold dango for with this. Um, I have scald for the gold dango. Um, I don't have anything super crazy. All right. Um, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous here. This is one of the most difficult battles. And I've lost here more than I would like to admit. Uh, this is super dependent on my teammate as well. Because the abilities that they get and the moves that they click really can make or break the entire the entire thing. Uh, he could Thunder Wave me with the Gothitelle, which is a problem. I feel like it very rarely does click that. He has HP fighting, so I feel like he would click that more than anything. Um, I don't think I can protect turn one. I like to, honestly, because if I get fake outed and HP fighting, I'm going to be really in the on the back foot immediately. And I do think I'm going to bait that, so I am going to protect him. He might not get fake outed. He faked out my teammate, so that stinks. And you doubled into him. See, this is if I I didn't click protect, they would have doubled into me. I'd be I'm almost guaranteed. Let me check the abilities real quick. <sighs> Poison heal useless. Heavy metal useless. And your ability changes when you mega evolve. So they are all useless Pokemon in this battle. I'm gonna click Amnesia. You scald. Okay. Big damage. Sheesh. I did so much. You psychic into that slot again. You live. That's amazing. And then I, you darkest Larry into me. Okay, I don't like that. I do have the fur coat, but he crits me. <sighs> That's frustrating. That's frustrating right there. Um. I'm going to Thunder Wave the Gothitelle. I believe... I, was, I, had a, I, feel, uh, I had a feeling he was going to kill the Incineroar. And I believe that Gothitelle is going to Psychic to kill the Masquerade. Yep. So if I get the Thunder Wave off on the Gothitelle, that could give me some huge advantages when this next Pokemon comes in. Okay, the Mega Mawile. That comes out. I think I just protect. We have Sceptile out. Prima Arena, okay. Um, I'm gonna Thunder Wave the Prima Arena, I think. No, I think I. Oh, do I protect here? I'm gonna protect. I need to see what Mega Set Tile's ability is. Hopefully, it's good. I'm ho the HP fighting is the only super effect move you can go for. Mega Drain, okay, that doesn't do as much. He has Mega Drain because he normally has Technician. But he doesn't have it when he Mega Evolves. Psychic, dude, they haven't attacked into my slot. Aside that one, aside for that one. Gothel's fully paralyzed, huge. Huge, 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 huge. Okay, let me check your ability, what do you got? Attacks that poison also drain. Yeah, that sucks. Um. I'm going to Thunder Wave the Primarina. Or do I amnesia again? I want amnesia again. I'm going to. I'm going to. Oh, that's big damage. You scald into my slot. I amnesia. You psychic into my slot. Okay. I protect. I'm assuming they're going to double into me because they see the kill. Mega Drain is going to kill that. Okay, Primarine is dead. Incineroar is dead. It's only Mawile left on the left side. Um, You didn't Psychic into my slot. That's unfortunate. There's a chance he play roughs with the Mawile into the Sceptile. There's a good chance that's what he does. <sighs> if I get rid of that left side... I'm, I'm like just so good. I'm just scalding. I'm scalding. I should be faster than it. 
Should be faster, I believe. I didn't, oh, did I check my nature? In power, fire. Okay, damaging. One slot, perfect. You're faster. That's not good. You didn't go for me, though, which is good. This skull, this is going to be so crucial right now. No burn. <laughs> okay, that's doing no damage, though. That is doing no damage. Um. I'm scalding the Mawile again. I, I was going to say, I think he might just KO. But I think I win now. The left side's dead. We killed the. We focused on the left side, and you get. Oh, this is. This is incredible. Hyper voice, scald, psychic, protect, flamethrower. Should have amnesia, amnesia there, honestly. Um. I'm gonna amnesia, focus blast, explod, miss. Got the burn, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna scald, missed another focus blast. Oh, this is GG, baby. This is GG. I'm going to Thunder Wave this. Dark Pulse on him. I think we get this. We get the flinch. We get the Thunder Wave. Perfect. Um, I just Scald. Focus Blast lands. You kill him. We get through this Bibberal. Bibberal? The GOAT. The stress I feel during that battle is like none other. It is like none other, man. All right. You heal my Pokemon. I appreciate it. And the next battle we got is right here. It is right here. And this battle is terrifying. Um, so... Hippowdon lead. I really think I'm going to lead with Sandslash. I have Weather Pokemon out the wazoo. Um, I have Snow Warning on this, and this is actually good for this battle uh, because I could lead with this and click Skull turn one, and that's a good play. Literally. Oh, uh, no, he'll get the Weather up, though. He'll get the Weather up. Bibberal is a beast. It's actually good for this. Um... Because of the fur coat and it's all physical attackers. Um, Fluffy on Gliscor, also really good. I don't think I need Empoleon this time. No, no Empoleon. Let's see, what is going to be my... I need Annihilate. For... Actually, do I bring this? You have Unnerve. I need a Will-O-Wisp the Kangaskhan. So I think I might need to bring this instead. Evil's low-key kind of good. As a pivot between... It has Parting Shot, which is really good. Um, I don't think I want Moltres this battle. Yeah, no Moltres. Um, spikes with this is good for Excadrill. He's going to Stealth Rock up. That's not a problem for me. I'm going to lead, set up a Spike. He's going to either attack or he's going to set up Stealth Rocks with this out on. And then I'm going to Rapid Spin as he roars me out, most likely. Um, Intimidate back Scalibur. Crazy good in this. Um, Fly Score is really good. Blastoise. Um, man, this team's actually pretty solid. Uh, what is going to be my answer for the Garganackle? Um, Body Press, Salt Cure. The Salt Cure is going to get annoying. I think Feeble and then, like, Parting Shot, lowering his stats. He would go for the Body Press. I could go into Glide Score. Can't status it. But I think this is going to be actually really good. Really good right here. Uh, it's Rare Candy up, my boy. Rare Candy up. Blastoise. Iron Defense. You got Rapid Spin as well. Forget about that. Um, over Detect. Rain Dance. Nah, we're not going to... 
Bandit needs to level up. Mystical Fire, no thank you. Foul play. Over Nasty Plot? Parting Shot over Dark Pulse. I don't think I need to U-turn on it. Um, what else could I do? Let me see. Let me see what kind of TMs I could teach him. Just protect. Uh, Icy Wind on Trash Panda. Nah. Um. Taunt? Taunt worth on anything. Taunt the Garganackle. Then parting shot out could be good. Flip turn on you is actually good over iron defense. What nature are you? Plus special attack minus speed. It's kind of fine. Um, This is my answer for the Torterra. Every day of the week. I have Ice Fang on him. My defense is crazy, and I have Fluffy in all his moves at contact moves. Um, I could just Ice Fang a couple times, and he'll be gonzo. Bibarel is a good switch in. Oh, I don't have my Ghost type. All right. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, guys. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, who do I not need? I need an answer for Kangaskhan. I need a Ghost type for Kangaskhan. I absolutely cannot go in without a Ghost type. Um, Baxcalibur, I mean, I don't know, the Intimidate on Baxcalibur is crazy, though. Do I just get rid of, all right, Bibberl. I want to bring Bibberl, but I think it's just not worth, it's not worth, um, Rare Candy, you up, Final Gambit, no thank you, and let's just put some lefties on our boys. Okay. Multi scale stamina. Intimidate. Bull rush. Fluffy. Snow warning. Multi scale. Uh, I need to put scald on my Blastoise over water pulse. And I think this is going to be good. Or do you want to put spikes on you over rock tomb? And I think this is good. I'm going to save the game. Um, yeah. I'm confident. I'm confident. Oh, my God. The music stopped. I got so nervous. I was like, what is going on? I was like, what is going on? Oh, yeah, yeah. I set up a spike turn one. Deal to hit the laughter. We needed to make sure he just doesn't end up with stealth rocks. That's what I have to focus on the most. Sandstream is fine. I set up spikes. He sets up rocks. This is fine. I right, rapid spin. He probably roars me out. Earthquake, okay. This is fine. Speed that up. I got leftovers. I'm going to spikes again. He roars me out. Okay, he has no stealth rocks up. Mmm. And intimidate on Hippowdon right now is crazy good. That is crazy good. Um, I would love to Icicle Crash here, but what I'm actually going to do is go into Blastoise. I have Rapid Spin on Blastoise too. So we're going to get rid of the weather. Sand is gone. He sets up Stealth Rocks. This is fine. I just need to make sure those Stealth Rocks stay gone because those will add up with damage. 
uh, with this uh, hippo. Hippo just roaring you around with the stealth rocks up is a problem. Okay, he goes for the earthquake here. Beautiful. I get a free scald off. Free scald, and if hippo's gone, we are in great shape. I am going to scald. Get the burn, that'd be amazing. We don't get it. He roars me out, but this is fine. Um, the chip damage. Hmm. Uh, I don't really like this being in, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to click Pursuit. Should get the KO on this. Okay. Just in case he tried to switch out. It'd be kind of a funny turn. All right. So we play this with no sand up. He goes into Garganackle. Um, that's interesting. I need this healthy, though. I need this healthy. I have no choice. Um, I'm going to go Blastoise. He goes for a cover. Snow is over. Snow stops. I'm just going to click Scald. I'm just going to click it. If he body presses, whatever. That does so much damage. Oh. I just kill with another Scald? Okay. Oh, that's amazing. <coughs> that is amazing. Um, Kangaskhan comes out. Okay. Hurt by the spikes. He fake outs here every single time. We eat it up. We brick break. I wish I had bulk up on this thing right now. Bulk up would be incredible. Goes for the crunch. Okay, gets one defense drop, but it's fine. You will outspeed me this turn. So I'm going to go into Bandit. Because I resist Crunch, and he could give me the, def Oof. the defense raise. Another defense raise. Get the leftovers. I do not want to stay in, though, I don't think. I could actually. He goes with power up punch. He could body slam though. And if he body slams and paralyzes me, this thing becomes 100% useless. And I think it still has some viability. So. He goes with power punch. That would have been. That was ideal. But it's okay. It's okay. Go for the brick break. Okay. I'm not nervous at all. This is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. He goes into Torterra. We take some spikes damage. Uh, my answer for the Torterra is... Technically, it's dummy. No, it's... It's you. It is. It's my... Uh, supply score. He shell smashes here. Yep. He's in a white herb. Get his stats... His defense is back up. Um, I'm going to Ice Fang. He Shell Smashes again. That's going to drop his defenses this time, and he doesn't get the raise. Um, I do not know if I live in attack from this thing. I have not calced any of this, but he dies slap. Beautiful. Woo. All right. Uh, Garchomp. Garchomp does not beat this. You have the Yachi Berry. Um, that doesn't... I'm just gonna Ice Fang. You Sword Stance in my face. That's fine. You have the Yachi Berry. We go for it again. You Scale Shot. Okay. Okay, I don't like this. That's three. Okay. Gosh. Whew. That was scary. Okay, you're gone. And lastly is Excadrill. 
Um, nothing you do kills me. So I'm just going to U-turn faster than you, which is surprising. I feel like you Swords Dance. But... Uh, hmm. If he Swords Dances... I go into this. I go into this. I have Brick Break. And I have Bull Rush, so I'll be faster. Swords Dances. I have Bull Rush. So it gives me the speed for this turn. And the boost in damage. I go for Brick Break. And I think it KOs. Yes. <sighs> Let me tell you. Getting through this Sylphco with zero deaths is crazy. That is crazy to me. I don't think I've ever done that. Um, I think being able to do this with, you know, more time to prepare, you know, taking more breaks in between recording so I'm not as, like, you know, mentally drained when I'm doing the recordings. Um, this has been actually an insanely good run. Uh, I'm going to look around and try to get all the TMs out of this building. Um, there's a bunch in here. Um, I think I already checked this floor. Uh, I know, I think Dragon Dance is in here. Is it right here? Dragon Dance is right there. I probably could have used that. Uh, that would have been pretty good. Nothing there. Max Revive, Garbador Rights. Um, I do gotta remember now, I can get Mega Evolution. Um, I don't know how many Pokemon I got that can Mega Evolve. I got Blastoise. Uh, Blast... Oh, gosh. Blastoise could be a good one. What's this? Focus Punch. Okay. Um... Trying to think what I have in the box. What do I have for Megas? Let me just look. Um, man, not really anything, huh? I need to evolve you too, by the way. Mega Scizor. Okay. Mega Lottie. I don't know where the Mega Stones are for those guys. I'll have to look that up. But I do want to find out what their Mega Evolutions are for like abilities and whatnot. Because if I get like Mega Scizor and it has Flash Fire or something like that, it'll be crazy. What is this? Bulk up. I could have could have saved me in the last last episode. I mean the last battle. It's okay. It's okay, we made it out clean. Okay, let's uh let's go to the PC. We're done with the Sylph Co. Wow. We are kind of cruising right now, I'm not gonna lie. I still haven't decided what I want to do with Eevee. Um actually I'm gonna wait to find your mega stone. Why am I taking Espeon out of the box? What am I doing with myself? You I want to evolve. Um, wait, wait. Who actually? Oh, the Dano as well. You need to evolve. Let's put Gliscorn here. Alright. Rare candies. Let me just speed through this. Vanillix is a low-key good Pokemon. I like it a lot. It's one of those just like random Pokemon. It's like decently fast, got really good special attack. It just like ends up being better than you expect it to be always. Do I not get it yet? Okay, I was gonna say. So what level do you evolve at? <sighs> that kind of crazy. Oh, it's convenient, but that's kind of crazy. Tinted Lens High Dragon is broken. All right. I like that. I like that. Now, let me look up the Mega Evolutions uh, locations. Uh, Radical Red Mega Stone locations. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Radical red documents. Pokemon locations. 
item TM and moves. Here we go. Mega stones and Z crystals. Wait, Z crystals. All right, the Blastoiseite I can get. Um, I know this one is over here. I know I got to do this first. I guess I can get my Snorlax, see what this is. A Krikatoon with snowboarding. I'm not giving you a nickname. If somebody wants to nickname a Krikatoon, it's all yours. It is all yours. Okay, we got the Blastoise 8. And then let's see what other ones I needed. I needed the Scizorite. And was that it? I think so, right? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, where is the Scizor one? Oh, the Wadia site. Uh, Seafoam Islands. Okay. That is the one I was thinking about. Um, wait a minute. Oh, no, it's Cinnabar Island. I'm sorry, I was looking at I read the one above it. Scizor. Route 22 below the pond and a ledge in the center. Route 22. Route 22, like down here somewhere. Route 14. Route 21. Route 20. Oh, it's this one. I know exactly where. So I need Sir first. I need Sir before I can get the Scizori. I know exactly where it is. All right. Um, Let me, actually, before we wrap up, let's get the Mega Stone. The Mega Ring. I apologize. We're going to give you the Blastoise 8. And we are going to... Uh, where can I? Let's go over here. Infinite repel disabled. I go here. I press start and I'll rapid spin. Don't get the kill. And you have tinted lens as well. Okay. All right. Tinted lens mega blastoise. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. All right. Uh, with that, we will wrap it up. In the next episode, we are going to fight Sabrina. I might do Chuck's battle as well. Chuck's team isn't that crazy, I don't think. Excuse me. Um, I feel like I've done Chuck's team. You get the team for Drain Punch from him, which is really good. So I think I'm going to do that one. Um, I think Annihilate with Bulk Up kind of goes crazy. I could literally lead with this and Bulk Up and pretty much sweep because his entire team is physical. Um, so yeah, I think I might do that. I think I might do that. Uh, but anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode. Leave some more nicknames as usual and uh, like the video, share it with a friend, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.